an early retribution from Andoryu. That means Sprinkin can start walking up. He's definitely gonna force it out. Yep. So Andoryu has to use his red tree. Uh, but uh, thankfully, you know, the clear speed, almost the same. I think the difference is going to start becoming apparent after Super can get this purple buff. Chanu can't really walk up to him. I mean, Chakru is nearby to kind of speed this up, and Little Wanderer falls into the hands of Smart Omega. Super King can technically contest if he knows. Yeah, yep. he, I mean, he has already communicated. He's used a red tree. He knows it's coming up in about seven seconds. Uh, red tree that way. Super King will lose the Feraga armor first. Oh. Easy start peeling back. He gets out. Yep, and this is the beauty of X Morgan as well as Matilda. They're allowed to poke and prod at Smart Omega, and Omega have to respond by using their bodies to say, "Hey, we have enough damage to kill threat you. You got to be able to get out of here." And with that guiding wind, it makes it so easy. Even if Super Ken doesn't actually have his Faraga armor, so he is finally going to get the orange buff. But in terms of experience, I believe he is going to be slightly behind Super Ken. He's showing on bot side. This matchup as well, Ryota, he wants to freeze the wave closer to his turret. Man. The pool, guiding wind to get out again. Super early rotation coming out from the side of Smart Omega. Uh, they technically could have gotten a proxy here if they wanted to, to rush level 4, but they opt not to do it. I think at this point, it's about the mid lane and they also want to make sure that Jacknu hits 4 as well at the same time. Yeah, Super can slightly ahead of him. They were able to zone Lord JM out prior to this wave. So Lord Jam will need to just be patient to hit that level 4. Moreno, wings by wings, forwards to find Andoryu, pushes him away. But fighting into an Expo jungle, not that easy. Oh. Feather Astra used very early on. Super Turn Alpha starting to walk forward. Lord Jam on the side with the penalty zone in tow if they need it. Earth Shadow does miss. And this is a good angle for Super Turn Alpha to make a play. Lord Jam tries to go for the penalty zone, cancel for the first time, but now connect. The Nether Realm is going to protect him from last Sandy, but not fully though. And Dorian still ends up going down to the explosion. Turtle for Pigatron Alpha and a kill. They really took their time with that one. They, they they took way too much time in a matter of fact. It felt like Smart Omega was trying to get into that back line, but never saw the opportunity because Bigatron Alpha was making sure that Adoryu did not have the space or a clean way to get on top of Moreno. I think at this point, uh, Adoryu should have just given up the Lord at that point if he's not finding these angles, especially since they don't necessarily need to commit these alts unless they find that advantage, or at the very least catch somebody from Bigatron Alpha out of position. Even Emmon is ahead of Joab. Somehow. Hey, he's winning out in this lane, I suppose. I think he's just gotten more river crabs, unfortunately. Mm. We'll see Bigotron slight go advantage. It's a spell a bit of problem for Smart Omega. Seeing that that previous fight uh, could have gone so much uglier, but Moreno we brought up to the top side. They want Joe dead for the air strike. Two connecting. That means more gold plating for Edmund, yep. potentially. They do spot Chaknu rotating up towards this top side. Bigatron and Alpha just want to create this lane advantage for Eman. If one of them has to take an early recall here, they're going to lose quite a bit of gold plating. Yeah, I know we just see the guiding win, but there's a circling ego. He just repositions. Wow. So hard to catch. He's hard to catch, but on the top side, Joel, using that Spirit of Destruction to cancel Iman's recall, right? And now look at this level lead. This should be a kill. Oh, put Purify into a BMI. Yeah, Iman set that up prior, like way before. Wait, do they not want to like deny... Oh, there's not enough of a wave to take full advantage of this. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Smart Omega, they back off here. I was thinking whether they wanted a proxy to stop Key or even Iman from actually regrouping underneath the Tier 1 to try and catch and soak up the EXP in gold. Bit of a salvage and Key will assist Emman to get back into the lane faster. Second turtle up. That's Super Ken, I believe he is two levels ahead of Andoryu. Should be an easy objective for Bigotron Alpha. Well, we say that, but then again, looks like Smart Omega realized they don't exactly have a lot of position. They could try and force something here, but fortunately, with Lord JM so nearby, that penalty zone is quite the threat. Not just that, the X more AoE damage. Smart Omega, they need a bit more time. Oh. Andoryu is putting on some pressure, but Teresla doesn't really care too much. This is a good play coming in from Smart Omega. The macro-wise, they knew that they had a way to actually make sure... Oh. He won't take this, will he? Yeah. He does! Wait, he actually takes it! It's just Emman. That's a flicker from Key. Whoa, fast! 
Smart Omega fast on the draw. Now they want the top tier one on the top side as well, right? We see that Super Ken is on the bottom side to maybe look for a trade, but this could be bad. Yeah, Emma, and he's gonna be stuck on by Ryota using Blazing Duet to get the shield. Avengers used, but Emma able to get away. He does go down for the airstrike, even committed by Moreno, but the damage is just not enough. Mm, not enough at all. And now Smart Omega, they have to start backing up here. Speaking of which, back, speaking of backing up, it looks like Supercan has found Andoryu in the jungle. It's a big turn off, at least. Able to get some sort of recovery. Moreno taunt under his turret, Lord JM. In a rough spot, pull back. Penalties don't missing Ryota, so he flickers the key to the rescue. Uh, Superhand finally getting back into the middle of this fight. Looks like he set it up well, make sure that all the battle lines were focused on the opposite side of the map, and they do get a trade of the Tier 1 down bot. Gold lead is so dead even between both of these teams. They're not getting too much, but you can see how proactive they are. And, and also, the way that they respond to each other's movements. Yeah, Key's just walking up. See Bigotron Alpha not, not really amping up the pressure. Not putting pedal on the gas to go for invade. But as at least Super Ken is constantly three levels ahead, two levels ahead of Andoryu. Mm -hmm. Then the same argument can be made about Smart Omega. Joam is at least a thousand gold ahead of this quad so far. Already has the golden staff in these fights. He's going to be able to pump out more damage for now, but uh, we're waiting until whoever gets that Winds of Nature first. It's so important to have in this match. Something Ego is very early. Smart Omega trying to break the Frag Armor Super Can Spear's destruction completely misses. This goes in between of everyone from Pikachu and Alpha. For the S right now, the juggling of skills from, from Pikachu and Alpha. Even pulled in by the Guiding Wind just to land an extra shot on the Chunk Noob. Pikachu and Alpha now have an angle to go for an engage. Praise was grabbed, used. Timing was perfect. Smart Omega gets the turtle and a penalty zone. Big one on the fourth, followed by the last Sandy, only getting the Edith. And that's not enough because on Alpha would need a lot more than just that. But that's all that they would get. Joam is in the fight finally. Iman was actively trading against Joam along the bottom side river just to slow him down on the rotate because he missed the Spear of Destruction. That being said, Bigtron is going to be walking away with one extra kill in the pocket, 7 minutes 53 seconds into this game. Still dead even. Bigtron Alpha wants some damage on the mid tier one. Uh, momentum is falling in their favor. At the very least, BTR is really good at the siege. Okay, Spear of Destruction connects, or JM again pulled out by the Guiding Wind. Stay with this, the insurance is to fed the airstrike. So all things considered, I mean, uh, Smart Omega and well, both teams only losing that bottom tier 1 with Bigotron Alpha losing his top tier 1 also. Uh, I mean, very, very slightly for Smart Omega, but Bigotron Alpha just keeping up the pace with them, right? Mm -hmm. They're a composition that, like, if they want to make a proactive play, a certain condition needs to be met, and it needs to be the right targets. In this case, Ukir or even Joam. Taking out, like, the jungler uh, and Doryu or even Chakdu would be ideal as well, but that's assuming that Smart Omega aren't corralled around these two. Yeah, Lord Jam and Moreno has been, have been doing a Great job just keeping Smart Omega in check. First item, Blood Wings for the Farsa. Should be going towards the uh, the NOD. Next, either that or a Lightning Truncheon. Huh. Huh. These movements coming in from Bigatron Alpha, they have the 4 and one setup going, but the one is Super Can. They know that he can actually tank a lot of the damage and actually wins out a majority of the side laners as well does net another turret for the team with his momentum. And I think that Bigatron, uh, Bigatron Alpha, at this point of time, I'm looking at the Moreno's item specifically. First item of Blood Wings this time. Yeah. Even for Super Ken, I think he's probably going for Oracle. Yep, just got it. Just to make use of the Guiding Wind Shoe. And he's I mean, so he's strong. so much damage. He's so far ahead. Two levels against Ar uh, Andoryu at this point of time. Making these neutral objectives, the longer it goes, the worse it gets for Smart Omega. The Trump are not coming to it. They're going to rush this, but they know that they can always have priority over the Lord. It's not that easy for Smart Omega to walk up. Andoryu showed himself already. They're gonna deal with the mid wave. They always have to deal with the mid wave, right? Both teams don't want mid tier one to actually collapse because then it gives free access into their own jungles. So far, with this like three level lead coming in from Supercan, I think the rest of Bigatron Alpha want this tier one a little bit more than the Lord. Emma is eating good. He had to flicker to safety, and this Lord is gonna be crucial. It's gonna oh. be secured by Joab. As Vengeance used by Ryota, Bigatron Alpha would take this fight. Supercan still has a Fraga armor, but Joab takes the destruction to the back, and it goes first to. Flash from Mukil to kill off the Farsa. 
Megatron gets one back. Lord JM just hammers Joem into the grave. And Megatron Alpha barely wins the fight. And they find Doryu on the side as well. That was so close. I mean, Megatron Alpha would have been... <gasps> He's, he's live, right? He, oh, oh, the brace by Hugh! Oh. Festival of Blood! One more time! Body of a Smith! Ah. The Angus gonna get everyone! Ukyo needs to get away you. with the Shadow Stampede. He's on the chase, it brings Lord JM. Does not land execution strike, but movement speed, Ukyo. Oh. Eat the hammer, boy! Finally goes down. The Lord had already spawned in Bigatron Alpha. Now need to do some homework and clean up these waves. The house chores aren't gonna get done by themselves. Wow, well, they have nullified the uh, the Lord advantage for Smart Mega. That is for sure. Supercan should be able to hold down this Lord all on its own. Biggest difference maker, <laughs> Lord JM. What a crucial kill. What a crucial. Oh, oh. Wow, they're committing everything. Oh, Chuck is dead. Maybe not. Penalty zone by Lord JM already. That's Nether Realm use. Good energy eruption on Dory the Flicker. It's a Shadow Stampede and a turnaround. Draga armor does explode, but Smart Omega finding a kill onto Key. Ah oh, man, Bigatron Alpha as of right now are not utilizing Super Ken that well, right? Despite the 4 and 1 setup they actually have going, they do actually need Super Ken to be a part of that front line to make sure that Andoryu or even Ryota can't just walk up willy nilly. Oh. Thank goodness Super Ken just got his Feraga armor back by Ryota. He's not getting out of this one. Even committing his vengeance last Sandy from Super Ken cannot find a viable target now. Chooses to fall back. Or GM does have Andoryu in the sight. Emman on the chase. Andoryu turns it around. Real destruction to connect. Emman able to BMI the safety, but Joan takes his ultimate anyways. And Joan now finds himself in the midst of battle, but takes down Key. Regardless, Chao Nu will be just shot down by Emman with the help of Super Ken. But Joan continues to fight through the pain. Fight the oh! Vickers on top of Moreno for the double kill. And it's just Super Ken 11. Joan will continue on his rampage. And Smart Omega have found a huge opening. And that's the equalizer, Super Ken. He's got to clear these ways up. Throw your body in there. Let's see a red tree. I don't think he is. Joe, he's just going to go for the end. And Smart Omega finds the equalizer. And they squeeze through such a small, all window of opportunity. And Joe makes the super play against Moreno. Victory as we see Smart Omega equalize against Bigatron Alpha one to one. Get your.